Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to dive right into the content. I want to discuss a few things I left out from my previous video on the potential upcoming Dodge Angel. So let's dive right into the content. First, I want to talk about how there's been some people saying that since the potential Angel could be running below nines, it's going to need a parachute and a roll cage, which will be heavy. It'll neglect the weight savings they intended to do anyway. No, it's not the case because if you run below 10, you need a roll cage anyway, and the demon didn't come with one. Just because that's NHRA's rules doesn't mean that's what Dodge is going to do. So that debunks that theory. Even if they were to put out a car in the low nines, high eights, it doesn't mean it's going to have a parachute or a roll cage. So here's what I think is going to happen with the Dodge Angel situation. He said clearly, if you listen, I'm going to play the clip one more time right now. He says, we are trying for eight seconds. That's what we're trying to do. Take a listen. Stock NHRA cars back when I was drag racing right. ran in the high eights. Right. Okay. Not today they, you know, run six forties or whatever. Right. But high eight, that's that's what the car we're trying to get out there testing today is gonna to try to run. The car we're trying to get out, the car we're trying to get out, the car we're trying to get out. So after watching that clip, Steve Beam clearly said trying to run eights. That doesn't mean they're going to achieve the eight second goal. It just means they're trying for eights. So if we use the demon as a starting point for our basis here, we can see that if we take out a couple hundred pounds and add 160 horsepower, it really wouldn't be too far fetched to see a Dodge Angel run 940s. So that's what I think is going to happen. Dodge is going to release the Angel in a wide body charger and we're going to get pretty much a tweaked demon just in charger form and it's going to be a little bit faster. Exactly what I think Dodge is going to do. They're aiming for eights. They're probably not going to get it and they're going to end up with a wide body charger that's going to have a time of around 940. I don't see it being that hard with the Helifant engine and some tweaks to the chassis and better tires to get a 940, especially with a thousand horsepower and them taking some weight out of the vehicle. An aluminum block and it's already going to be lighter than a Hellcat anyway. Isn't it kind of coincidental how the New York Auto Show every other year is in March or the beginning of April and now out of nowhere we're at the end of April and Dodge gets their spot on April 26th. That is something to think about right there. The Dodge Angel, I believe, is coming. Some people have mentioned they think it might be the Cuda, considering Steve Beam pointed down at the Challenger. I mean, that is very possible, but either way, Charger or Challenger, it's going to be a little bit lighter and it's going to have a thousand horsepower. I don't think it'll run nines without all wheel drive, but then again, that's a possibility too. But the likelihood is it's going to run 930s to 950s, and that is definitely uh, a goal that's achievable and it beats the Demon. And of course, that's exactly what the Angel is set out to do to beat the demon. So just think about it like this. You have a thousand horsepower on tap with trans brake, a wide body charger, 325s out back with 10 or 11 inch wheels, not to mention the rear seat deleted and the engine's lighter. So you lost a couple of hundred pounds over the regular charger or challenger. I don't find that being too far out of reality to achieve 940s or even 950s. And that puts us right in the same position as the demon. We don't need a roll cage. It's going to be sold in a similar fashion. It's going to be limited production and it's going to be a tenth or two, maybe three or four tenths faster than the Demon. And that's exactly where I think the Dodge Angel is going to sit or whatever they're going to end up calling it. Whether that be the Dodge Angel, the Wide Body Charger Elephant, who really knows at this point? The Challenger has been getting all the love lately. Dodge knows it. We know it. They know we know and I believe that is why they're saving the best for last. I think this vehicle could be groundbreaking and I really can't wait to see what Dodge does, but we're only a few months away from finding out for sure. So it's pretty exciting stuff, guys. Just wanna thank everybody for stopping in and watching this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment below, like this video and share. What do you guys think for all my returning subscribers? Thanks so much for watching all my videos. I really appreciate all the support. I'm working hard trying to dig up all the news I can in the Mopar community. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch. Go to twitch.tv or just search Twitch and check me out over there. Sign up for a free account. Hang out with me after hours as I go full-time with YouTube. I'm going to be hanging out more over on Twitch. Check out my brother's channel, This Can't Be Happening. All lowercase one word, This Can't Be Happening. A lot of funny stuff over there, guys. And also, don't forget to check out the store, drivewaydemons.com. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and key tags over there. Support the channel at drivewaydemons.com. But until the next video, guys, take care and have a great night.